学们好 ，Welcome to a journey to China, Chinese One。欢迎到中国之旅第一册，我是于博士。Since you began to study numbers, can you tell me your birthday in Chinese? 你的生日是几月几日 ？How old are you? 你几岁 ？We will study the answers to these questions in lesson ten. Today. We will continue to study numbers, learn to ask questions related to age and identifying people, learn how calendar dates are read, and analyze and write more characters related to numbers. Have your paper and pencil ready for our exercises, 同学们 Are you ready to get started? Then let's review what you have learned about numbers. Count from one to ten with me in Chinese. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九、十。Let's count again. See if you can recite the numbers without your notes. Let's say them again. 一。二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九、十。Now I'll call out a few numbers. See if you can understand them, and tell me what I said. 十二，十二。What did I say? Correct, I said twelve. 十四十四 What did I say? Yes, fourteen. 二十三二十三 Good, I said twenty-three. 五十六，五十六。I said fifty-six. How would you say the number thirty-one? That's right. You say 三十一 You learned to come from one to thirty-one in our last lesson. You also learned how numbers like twenty, thirty, forty, and up to ninety are expressed as groups of ten. Two tens, 二十 three tens, 三十 and so on. If you did your homework, then you should understand how to count to a hundred. 同学们 did you discover the word for hundred? What is it? It's the word "by." By, I'll say it again. By, say it with me. By, by is a hundred. What about one hundred? 一百 is one hundred. Do the months in a Chinese calendar have names like April or July? No, they don't. Then, how can you tell which month it is? Yes, by the number of the month. The month numbers correspond to the Western calendar. January is one, 一月 February is two, 二月 and so on. Add the word month after the number. Then you have the name of the month. Easy. What is the word for month in Chinese? Yue is correct. Say it with me. Yue. Now then, how do you say January or the first month in Chinese? Yi yue. How would you say June? Or the sixth month. Yes, 六月 is correct. 很好 you've got it. 
What is the word for day in Chinese? Ri. Say ri after me. Ri. Good. Does the number of the day come before or after the word ri? It will come before. Very good. Listen to the sentences from our last lesson and tell me what they mean. Our first sentence was, 明天是九月二十日. What does 明天是 mean? I hear tomorrow is. That is correct. 明天是 tomorrow is. 明天是九月二十日. What is 九月? Yes, it's a month. 九月. Which month? Yes, the ninth month or September. 明天是九月二十日. Tomorrow is September. 二十日. What is 二十日? Yes, 二十日 is the 20th day. 明天是九月二十日. Tomorrow is September 20th. 明天是九月二十日. Our second sentence was, 明天是我的生日. What does it mean? You know, 明天是 tomorrow is. What is 我的? Yes, 我的 is my. 我 becomes possessive when you add the possessive word 的. 我的 is my. What is 生日? Correct, birthday. So what does 明天是我的生日 mean? Yes, tomorrow is my birthday. 明天是我的生日. Let's test our conversational skill. I'll tell you what tomorrow is with the date. I'll pick some random dates. Listen. Then respond and say, 明天是我的生日. Try to understand the dates I'm saying. 明天是七月四日. Now tell your neighbors the date of your real birthday. Let's look at the character structure for numbers 6 through 10. Take out some paper and a pencil. Write with me as we analyze these characters. Here is Liu, number six. Is Liu a single part or compound character? It's single part. How many strokes does Liu have? Who said si? Very good. Liu has four strokes, si. Let's name the strokes as we write. We begin with one dot, yi dian, heng, zuo dian, you dian. Let's do that again. Yi dian, yi heng, zuo dian, you dian. Very good. Next, look at qi number seven. Is Qi a single part or compound structure? Yes, it's single. Which stroke is first? Yes, heng. Shu. Wan, heng, go. Let's start again. Heng. Shu. Wan, heng, go. Let's practice one more time. 
一横，竖弯横钩。Very good. Here is 八 What is 八 Yes, 八 is eight. What is the structure? Yes, it is single part. 非常好 Which stroke is first? 撇 Next, 那 Let's try it again. 撇 Then 那非常好 How many strokes are in 八 Two strokes. Let's try it one more time. 撇那很好 What is nine in Chinese? 九 is nine. Good. Look at the character for 九 Is 九 compound or single part? It's single part. How many strokes in 九 Yes, two. Write 九 with me. First, 撇 Then 横折竖弯钩 Let's do it again. 撇横折竖弯钩 This is difficult. Let's do it again. 撇横折竖弯钩非常好 Here is 十 Is 十 compound or single part in structure? Very good. It's single part. How many strokes do you see? Two. You are correct. Which stroke is written first? Heng is first. Then shu. Let's do it again. Yi heng. Yi shu. Yi heng. Yi shu. Very good. Good job with the characters related to numbers, 同学们 Now, let's turn our attention to four sentences that will help you identify people and talk about age. Look at the image on the screen. Listen as I talk about the people in the picture. Try to understand what I'm saying. Look at the young woman leading the children. 他是谁？他是林老师。I'll say it again. 他是谁？他是林老师。What do you think? 他是谁 means? 他是谁 means who is she? Today's first sentence is 他是谁 ？Who is she? 谁 means who. 她是谁 Who is she? It's a sentence you can use to identify someone. Say 她是谁 after me. 她是谁？她是谁？她是谁？好。Now look at the little boy next to Lin Lao Shi. Listen. Ta Ji Sui. Ta Ji Sui. What do you think this means? Make a guess. Ta Ji Sui. Ta Ji Sui means how old is he? You know, Ta means he. Ji with the third tone means how many. Say ji after me. Ji. 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 Ta ji sui. Sui with the fourth tone means year of age or years old. Say sui after me. Sui. Sui. Again, sui. 
Now let's practice ta ji sui. Repeat after me. Ta ji sui. Ta ji sui. Ta ji sui. Here's the answer to ta ji sui. How old is he? Ta jin nian liang sui. Ta jin nian liang sui. What do you think this means? It means this year he is two years old. Ta is he. Jin nian means this year. And liang means two. The word sui is year of age. Ta jin nian liang sui. The word liang meaning two is used when stating someone's age as two years. When expressing two of something like year of age, number of people, or number of books, the word liang is used. Let's learn to say jin nian. Jin has the first tone and nian has the second tone. Listen, jin nian. Jin nian, jin nian. Now, repeat after me. Jin nian, jin nian, jin nian. Next, let's learn liang. Liang has a third tone. Listen, liang, liang. Liang. Now repeat after me. Liang. 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 The word sui has a fourth tone. Listen. Sui. Sui. Now repeat it after me. Sui. 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 Now I'll say the whole sentence for you. Ta jin nian liang sui. Ta jin nian liang sui. Now repeat after me. Ta jin nian liang sui. Ta jin nian liang sui. Ta jin nian liang sui. This year, he is two years old. We like to know the boy's birth date. So we want to ask, what is his birthday? You say, Literally, meaning his birthday is how many months, how many days. Listen again. 他的生日是几月几日? Let's practice the first part of the sentence. Repeat after me. 他的生日是他的生日是他的生日是 Now, let's practice the last part of the sentence. 几月几日? Repeat after me. 几月几日? 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 Now let's say the whole sentence. 他的生日是几月几日? Repeat after me. 他的生日是几月几日? 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 Great job, Tongxuemen. Let's talk about the grammar in today's sentences. 
two of our sentences were questions. The first sentence was, 他是谁? The question word, 谁, meaning who, comes at the end of the sentence. 他是谁? She is who? In Chinese grammar, when you ask a question, the word order of the sentence stays the same in the question and the answer. For instance, the question is, 他是谁? The answer is, 他是林老师. She is who? She is teacher Lin. The question word, 谁, is replaced by the person's name, Lin Shi, in the answer. The second sentence today was, 他几岁? The question word, 几, meaning how many, comes in the middle of the sentence, 他几岁? Literally, he, how many years old? Again, the word order stays the same for the question and the answer. The question is, 他几岁? The answer is, 他今年两岁? The question word, 几, is replaced by the answer, 两. Literally, the word order is, he, how many years old? He, this year, two years old. In comparison to Chinese, the English language places question words like who, what, or how many at the beginning of a sentence. Now let's talk about liang. You know that er means two. Liang also means two, but they are used in different situations. Er is used when calling numbers, such as yi, er, san, or saying the numbers of a year. Er, ling, ling, jiu, two, zero, zero, nine. Liang is used when specifying or counting items, such as liang ge ren, two people, liang ben shu, two books, and liang sui, two years of age. There's more to learn about er and liang, but these are the basic things to know right now. In our last lesson, you learned the words nian, yue, and ri, words that help you read a calendar. Today, we'll read calendar dates the Chinese way. In Chinese culture, many things are seen from the viewpoint of the largest unit first, then down to smaller details. This viewpoint applies to how dates are given. When you read or write a date, the year always comes first, followed by the month, then the day. Another example is how you would address a letter in China. The address is written in the order from country to province to city to street, building, then house number. An important point to note about reading a date in Chinese has to do with the year number. The numbers are read one number at a time. For example, the year 1999 is read as nian, year of 1999. The year is never read two numbers at a time, such as 1999. Again, in Chinese, the word order of a date begins with the largest unit first, which is the year, then the month, then the day. In order to read the Chinese calendar, you need to know the word for zero, which is ling. Ling is said with the second tone. Listen. Ling, Ling. Now say it after me. Ling, Ling, Ling. Great. Ling means what? Zero. How would you tell someone the following dates in Chinese? Here's the year 2009. 
to tell someone this year is 2009, you would say, 今年是2009年. Say the sentence with me. 今年是2009年. This year is 2009. Here's the year, 2010. To tell someone next year is 2010, you would say, 明年是2010年. Say the sentence with me. 明年是2010年. Next year is 2010. Here's another example. When did the United States celebrate its first Independence Day? July 4th, 1776 is correct. How would you read it in Chinese? You would say, 1776年7月4日. Practice reading dates the Chinese way, and you'll find it very easy. Let's go over today's vocabulary. Our new words in this lesson are 几, meaning how many. Repeat 几 after me, 几. 岁, meaning year of age. Repeat 岁 after me, 岁. 两, meaning two. Say 两 with me, 两. Liang is used when you are specifying items or counting things. Nian meaning year. Say Nian with me. Nian. Jin Nian meaning this year. Repeat after me. Jin Nian. Ling meaning zero. Say Ling with me. Ling. And Shei meaning who. Say Shei with me. Shei. There are two ways to say who in Chinese. We have learned and used Shei. Another pronunciation is Shui, which you might hear from time to time. We have more characters to analyze today. They are Ji, Sui, and Shei. Here is Ji. What kind of structure does ji have? Yes, it's single part. How many strokes does ji have? Ji has two strokes. Pie is first, then heng, zhe, shu, wan, go. Ji is a radical character. It's a root word for many Chinese words. Next. Look at sui. What type of structure do you see in sui? Correct. It is compound. Where is the radical for sui? It's on the top. It's a character shan, meaning mountain. Sui has six strokes. Next is shei. Shei has what type of structure? Yes, compound structure. As you look at it, how many strokes are in she? There are 10 strokes in this character. Where is the radical for she? Yes, it's on the left part. It's a simplified form of yan, meaning speech. When you see this radical, the root word is related to speech or talking. 同学们, we've come to the end of this lesson. Let's go over what we've learned today. After reviewing the main points of our last lesson, we analyze the character structure of the numbers 六, 七, 八, 九, and 十. Then we practice writing each number and talked about the strokes. Next, you learned four sentences that will help you ask questions about age and identify people. The sentences are 她是谁? Who is she? 她几岁? How old is he? 她今年两岁? This year, he is two years old. 
and 他的生日是几月几日 ？What is his birthday? Or the literal meaning, his birthday is how many month? How many day? Now you can ask questions that will help you identify people and talk about someone's age, including your own. You learn that the word order of a sentence stay the same with the question and the answer. For example, the question, 她是谁 Who is she? The answer, 她是林老师 She is teacher Lin. When asking a question, the answer appears in the same part of the sentence as the question because the word order stays the same. You also learn that liang, meaning two, is used instead of er when indicating the number of things, such as age. Liang is used when specifying items or counting things. You learn how to say the number of a calendar year the Chinese way by reading the year one number at a time. You also learned that days are spoken in the order of year, then month, then the day. For example, the year two thousand and nine in Chinese is said, 二零零九年 and February twenty eighth two thousand nine is said. 二零零九年二月二十八日 Today's vocabulary was 几岁两年今年零 and 谁 Finally, we added more characters to your knowledge of Chinese by looking closely at the structure of 几岁 and 谁 Tongshiman, I hope you've had a good time with numbers today. In our next lesson, we will continue our study of numbers and learn how to use them in an everyday situation. Remember to repeat, recite, and continue to represent the things you've learned today. I'll look forward to seeing you for our next lesson on a journey to China, Zhongguo Zhilu, and remember. Learning never ends. 学无止境。再见。